Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. Surprise, surprise, I know, but this time I'm continuing on with the survival mode. So last time we made a hole in the ground, we've got a small rover going, and you lot gave me a lot of helpful little tips and information for this mode. And yes, you are right, because I tried it with my friends. You could just simply grind away the landing gear, grind away a few other parts on top, and you could just skip ahead straight to the thrusters. But I'm not going to do that, I'm quite settled with the idea of having a rover and I will need a name for this rover so leave some in the comment section below and I'll choose whichever one that takes my fancy and it shall be known as that. That'll be a theme going on throughout this little series of naming stuff. So to get started I suppose I should finish off these wheels. I'll then come over to here and build a cockpit on top. And that should allow me to roam around. Once the cockpit is built, I can then delete the landing gear and that will be all fancy dandy. So while I'm grinding away, some of the information was very important that I did not know about. Because as you know, in the previous video, that was basically my first proper attempt at the new survival mode. But I did not know about the temperature. They have a temperature system in there. If I zoom the screen in over onto the bottom right hand, well, near the bottom right hand, you'll see it says warm. And if you're in like certain areas where it's too hot or too cold and your suit energy runs out, then you'll start dying basically. It's quite a nifty little thing. I did not know about that. And then of course we have the other thing of stone where you get more stone per little like little rock part if you are deep down or on an actual stone part which was over I believe here. So this will give more stone per little rock and if you dig down that's the same thing. And the last piece of advice, which was, well, everyone should know about now, because it's so useful, is do not grind the thrusters on the drop pod unless you have unlocked the thrusters, because you cannot repair them, and you cannot replace them. So if I was to go like grind, 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 and then try to repair them up, it would not let me until the progression system has unlocked it. So anyway, I've got some stone on me. Let's come over to the survival kit, dump some more stone in there. Grab the steel plates, that'll be enough for me to put the little cockpit on the front of it. Like so. And then I can repair that up. I mean, I've still got this little seat in here which I can use to regenerate my suit power. I don't need my helmet on, I always forget about that. There we go, so now I've got the cockpit on. I can put that on. And start building the wheels. I don't have to build them all up. I'm not going to put the large steel tubes into them. I'm just going to basically get them to a point where they won't instantly break. But I might be able to put the back wheels on. Yes, I might be able to add wheels onto this. If I can find... No. Add a wheel. Add a wheel. So now, hopefully... Yay! All four wheels are on. We're getting there. But how do I get the landing gear? I'm going to have to dig underneath this, aren't I? Hmm. Yes, I, I suppose I should left mouse button this. Because <laughs> I don't really want to be wasting too much. And that'll do. Grab all that. Grind away the landing gear because I no longer need these. Get rid of that. Grind this bit more away. There we go. Collect up that stone. Lovely, lovely stone. And the last landing gear is now gone. And I have trapped myself. Can I cheese this? There we go. God, I love doing that. I'll probably edit most of this out because I'm sure you lot don't want to see me just continually building this rover that I was building last time. Oh no. No power. Can I build this? Oh no. I'm going to need to build some interior plates and all that just to get that operational so I can build large steel tubes. Large steel tubes? That's not English. Large steel tubes. Just weld that up. There we go. And by the time I get back, hopefully they're all ready for me to go and take a cross. Once that's done, I can build the large steel tubes. So I take that and I take that 
Yes, that's correct. And I can fly over to here. Spin, you magnificent thing. Spin. It's working. Only had to build a second one. <laughs> yes, I'm hoping that's going to work well. I didn't actually check the power. It seems alright. But at least now, I'm building construction components. And large steel tubes. Fantastic. I don't know why I'm building construction components over here. I just built some over there to put in these. Never mind, eh? And there we go. I have fixed the situation by taking it off the ground. I've taken a fair amount of damage underneath. I did have to dig out some holes in the ground, so now it looks absolutely awful around here in order to get the wheels out. I am a little worried about this part over here breaking. Because it's not very safe. But no, I'm just going to finish off this. And then it's time to go for a little ride around. See what's going on in the surrounding areas. And see what ores I can find. And so off the adventure of the little rover goes. I'm hoping this thing... Oh, it does have about two hours of power. I think the ore detector is working. Yes. Excellent. So now, if I turn that on... Should find some ore. Magnesium. Don't need that. Oh, in case you're wondering about the unknown signals why I didn't grind it up last time, I don't like doing that because I consider it cheating because... Yeah, all they're there for is the skins. Grinding it up. Nope, I'm just going to leave it there. I should probably turn it off, but I do like collecting the skins myself. So I've been roaming around for quite a while now. I still haven't found any form of iron deposit. There have been a lot of... No, not again! Ugh. That's the third time that has almost happened. Oh, and I completely forgot I changed the wheels because I did get stuck in a hole. Let's plop that down. Change the height offset slowly. And off I go. So anyway, that is all I have time for today. Not much has happened. The rover is up and running. I will need a name for this. And I will be back with another video some point soon where hopefully I'll discover some iron and I can start building a base, in which case I will need a name for the base. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.